it's been a rough couple of years having to rehire and let go staff uh, more times. So I think and than we would we would ever want to have to do. It's a, quite an emotional process for the last last couple of years, and we're really looking forward to uh, getting back to to some sort of normal, uh, whatever that looks like. It's been it's been almost basically two years exactly since we shut down a couple of days before St. Patrick's Day. So really looking forward to being being open with, with no restrictions this time around. It, it was tough receiving conflicting information. Um, a lot of the stuff, as you know, oftentimes didn't make sense. So we're just, we weren't trying to toe the line. We're trying to, you know, go by the book um, the entire time. But it was definitely difficult. I think it, I think it must have been harder on a lot of the staff. We've lost quite a few few long-term staff members over the last couple of years as they've transitioned to other industries because they didn't know how long they'd be working for or what their what their income would be like. So this this used to be in 1980 it was buzzards, uh, early 2000s it was buzzards cowboy cuisine, 2010 ish it we remodeled it as all bottle screw bills pub and then you know the last year or so before the pandemic this section was either too busy or not busy enough so it really uh it really just made made sense for us we've had calgary's largest beer selection since gosh i can't remember uh i don't think anybody else really comes close and for now to for us to offer our own wide selection of high quality craft beer we're we're just excited to be part of that scene the industry staff come back in late at night which is a, a huge part of our business the flames are rolling, and that's uh, that's bringing people in uh, before and after the games. Uh, we just washed all the patios down to a little spring clean. We're open fully outside for St. Pat's, and we're uh, we're ready for summer. Bring on Stampede!